Well hello everyone and welcome to Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. It's Caroline here and thank you ever so much for dropping by. Now this is my first tutorial so absolutely anything could happen. Here's the bad news. We're not actually going to be drawing shapes and colouring them in today. What we are going to do is to just go through um, some basic information about the difference between a raster image and a vector image. Understanding this is quite important and understanding why it's, it matters um, is important also. So let's first of all have a look at what a raster image is. By the way, uh, these images are also known as bitmap images. This is an image that's made up of pixels and dots and the smaller and closer together the dots are the clearer the image is going to be. As the image is enlarged the pixels grow and if you enlarge it enough then the image will become grainy and blurry and if it's enlarged too much the detail will be lost and it will be known as pixelated. An example of raster software includes Adobe Photoshop and the GIMP and file types are JPEG, GIF and PNG. So you can see what I actually mean by that. Here's an example of a bottle of ice cream which is very strange but there we go. And down here you can see the bitmap which has been magnified seven times of the writing on the bottle and in fact you can't see it because it is completely blurred and pixelated. So let's have a look at um, the definition and characteristics of a vector image. Well, think about creating dots and then joining the dots, and you won't go far wrong. In fact, a vector image is um, a mathematical equation, and these images can be enlarged and reduced with no loss of detail at all. And image, vector images also tend to take up less disk space than a raster image. Example of vector software is Inkscape and Adobe Illustrator and file types are SVG and AI. And if we go back to the lime green coloured bottle of ice cream, you can see the vector image, whilst being magnified seven times as well, the text is still crisp, you can read it. So, what does this all mean? And why is it important? Well, if you need your image to be both small and large, for example your brand logo to be placed on a business card and also on a poster, then you'd be best to choose a vector format because there will be no loss of detail when you're enlarging that image. If you're using text, then it's also best to use the vector format to retain the crispness of the text. If you're using photos, then it's best to use the raster format. OK, so that's all for this video. Thank you very much for joining us. And if you do have any questions about what you've just seen or any other feedback indeed, please contact us. You can do this by visiting our fan page, the details of which I've put up on the screen now. And so until next time, goodbye.